But we had professional twerkers. And they were good. I had to get another job. Save up vacation days. Did that tonight. I was like, I'm watching this. We messed up, Bumble, and now we're so happy together. That is the first move. I'm Nora. I'm the creator, writer, director of Door Number One on Hulu. All right. Lovebirds ready to go? Um, Lovebirds? Hold on. We are just friends. Couldn't care less. Here we go. I thought, you know, a 10-year high school reunion is something either everyone has experienced or is about to experience. I thought it was a relatable place to set a story, and there's so many different avenues and choices that can go on there. And I just thought it would be great if the viewer could be the lead of their own movie. Hey, Hey, do you idiots remember where we buried the time capsule? You idiots, how are we gonna know where you buried the time capsule? I think mainly what we're focused on in writing it is thinking about um, situations in which A, you'd be super uncomfortable, or B, that you've always wanted to exist in. So, I mean, we do, you Pace climb a gym boy. rope. He's not going to run anyway. You are in the middle of a twerking dance circle. You make out with a hermit. I'm not you get high now. with the janitor, and then you throw in space. I mean, all these situations where you're either feeling terribly uncomfortable or voyeuristic and excited to be living in this new situation. What percentage of your life is spent living in fear? I want to brag, but I'm also a scientist. Check it out. The main challenge is that your protagonist can't speak. So you're intuiting what the viewer is going to feel and how they're going to react, and that gives you the next line or the next scene. Do you, do you, want, to, do you want to say something? you have something you need to say, Alex? you want to take the floor? I mean... You're reacting off of nothing, and a lot of the actors had to adjust with like getting the timing and the rhythm right when they don't have someone saying the line they're waiting for. It was it's nothing like what I expected because I had no expectations, except that I knew I did know I'd be acting with a camera and I knew that there wasn't a lot of cutting, which is why I wanted to do the project because it's super challenging to not be able to mess up. <sighs> Attention everybody, sorry to steal the spotlight for a sec, but I just want to make a toast to someone very special to me who I haven't seen in a while. We cast a lot of great so improv actors so who could so take what we've given them and expand upon and kind of build their own characters for moments where we wanted to have a lot of Alice, improv. Did you love? It's definitely very different to just be looking straight into the lens and yeah, not getting any sort of feedback. You know, you just have to, I mean, I guess actors are kind of good at imagining all that stuff, so, so it's okay, but it's definitely very different. You better get the hell out of here. You better get the hell out of here. You're in for a world of hurt. Great. Oh, boy. That's, that, sorry, Crash is going to come around this corner. <laughs> and he's going to end up right over here. That's good. Hey, uh, we're actually about to get started in there. We're going to get a tune going. Uh, you want in? Perfect. And then you guys will go back and forth. Pug saying, oh. like, step the fuck up, man. Don't come be on, pussy. Man. If you pussy, fight me! Right, and then crash me like that. What do you think? You, you're in or out? <laughs> yeah. We want to have a pleasant experience you or an aggressive experience! <laughs> you want to fight this guy? Great. <laughs> or you want to rock? My name is John Gemberling, and I play the character Pug, who is a former prom king and asshole. What does the robot that I'm acting with mo most resemble? A uh, robot. It looks like a, a bunch of camera lenses on sticks. Because there's no cuts, because you have to do the whole thing all the way through, it gives it a more sort of immediate live performance feel. We had you know, 15 cast members and 150 extras or something. It was a real navigation about how everyone can work together and also get the timing right. Actually, you know what, you could have grabbed that might be worse. This one right yeah. here. But what happened was at one point I got it a little in the middle, right? That's what happened. Yeah. We, we started seeing you know, the problems that have been solved in film that we're used to after 120 years of trial and error um, were 
stepping into this new realm, which is in baby steps. We lose a lot of the advantages of filmmaking. Being able to cut away to a close-up if something didn't work out, being able to hide certain lights behind camera. Um, here, there's no hiding. There's no being behind the camera. So we need to get 10 times more creative. The viewer being able to look at all parts of our set at the same time, that possibility is, is pretty amazing. It allows for a lot of details to be planted into the set that actually do get seen because they are not uh, going to be cut out in the editing room floor. They're there to see by anyone who wants to look at them. So everything intended to be seen as a storytelling element and not just a detail. And many wonder why we're here. Well, to me we're here based off of love. PR forces you to be part of it. It, you cannot just be a spectator, you need to be a little more active. And so now it changes the experience massively. I really think there is more and it's going to offer, or it's offering already, uh, like a different experience than film. Hi. I think we're finding the balance, especially with narrative stuff, of how involved the viewer could and should be, or if it's too much to be involved all the time, if there's like a happy medium of like, you're a character in the thing, but you're not necessarily having a lot of responsibilities in every scene. I think there's gonna be a balance between those two things about how involved you wanna be as you're watching. Um, but I think story-wise, we're gonna keep going until it feels like your life. Good.